For us, this is more important than anything else, servicing our community first. This is the, the true essence of aloha kekahi ikekahi, malama kekahi ikekahi, you know, taking care of one another um, and helping, you know, helping out your neighbor. We are fortunate to have the Pu'uhonua and we are still grateful for all the families that are, you know, contributing food. As you can see, many of the, you know, families still come and they eat dinner here. They, um, they come and they pick up necessities, um, personal hygiene items. Families that have animals, they come and get dog food. So there's always still a need. These are the things that the families are looking for. There's still people still needing um, help or uh, updates or um, information of what's happening around in their community. So people keep on asking me what's going on, what's going on. And I, it came to a point that, you know, I was pretty much, you know, I was the number one go-to guy for our community here. So, and I just, Emotionally, that kept me going. Being specific of what's happening is a big thing for um, our community, especially um, what's, you know, information on time, um, in the nick of time, so people know what's happening on that time, so, and, and where it's happening, and they can start, um, you know, some people were just amazed of um, the information that was given out, and, um, you know, the, the the distance and the, all that kind of information was in detail. So that was that was kind of what I was trying to do from the beginning. Some people see me putting myself at risk, but for me, because I've been around lava pretty much all my life, I work on lava so, every day. So um, I kind of know how it reacts, but to be out of my comfort zone at some, some eras, yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I need to get that message across on, on what's happening. So, you know, just just doing it up, just updating my community. That's all I was trying to do. For us, this is more important than anything else. Servicing our community first. Emotionally, like you know, I met met a, a lot of the guys that lost their homes. And that was an emotional time and during this whole time. We have one family, a uh, single mom who lost her, her husband just recently and then now she lost her home. And she has two young children. And I'm praying for the financial institutions to be compassionate to these families that, you know, um, are going through this. The families were asking about their mortgages. So it would be nice if somebody that had the knowledge come to the community meetings and offer their assistance. Soon I, I pray that those that have, you know, a construction license, that, you know, they perhaps maybe donate their time to help these families rebuild. Um, I think this is a good example of all of the families coming together and just giving of their time, giving of whatever they can. And so if we can do that for, you know, starting with one family, one family, one family, it will change the dynamic of the way people think and the way people feel. And um, it's, it's really hard on many different levels.